Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to the end of our uh, uh, RimWorld Anomaly playthrough. Uh, we've hit the first bit of the void, uh, or, well, whatever it is we need to do to trigger all this, but we have to wait another 1.2 days, and we are immediately being attacked by a bunch of gore hulks and shamblers, which kind of sucks, but life goes on. I'm trying to position Celis here so that he'll lure some of the Walking Dead away, while hopefully not being in the firing line himself. I don't know how successful that's really going to be. Okay, boy is getting some stuff out of there, that's good. Uh, what, what's really going to uh, throw us down is like, most of the colony is- I swear to god, can you actually hit me and I can't hit you? How can you even hit me from there when I'm behind a wall? I don't understand it. That makes me angry. Are you just not flammable? Okay, Celis is down but not dead. And it looks like we took a fair number of them down, but it might not be enough. The Gore Hulks are going to be the real problem here. Because they don't seem to be catching on fire. That greatly upsets me. Okay, and our flamethrower is down. And they can shoot us from a distance, unfortunately, so... It's not looking great for us. And then again, they are... Okay, you, you'll get food once the once they're dead. Come on. Okay, we're actually somehow... Okay, they are breaking through my walls, which makes me upset. Okay, Rena's down. Uh, Manning, go rescue her, please. Alright, they're just toasting. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, shite. Okay. All right, all right. We we may have pulled through. Also, uh, okay, a couple of a couple of the bad guys actually wandered up over here. I hope we get a bit of a break after this. Is this is this it? It appears to be. All right, who is the least like? Oh my god, everyone is gonna have a mental break. Why? Well, I guess because we're we're in a rough situation. Maybe I should have a little more. Uh, Compassion for our people. Alrighty then, so the darkness is coming. And by coming, I mean it's actually already arrived. Uh, probably gonna take a little bit of a hit here, but... I figure we, we've walled off all of our entrances to our base. Uh, for all the good that's really gonna do us. Uh, I guess I don't really need you here anymore. Ah, bloody hell. Well, I mean, yeah, that's life, I guess, so better, uh, better get a little bit of light going on in here. Anyway, so void structures should arrive soon. The darkness has descended. Two more void structures, or three more void structures, actually, and they're all in the darkness. And let me guess, they're all going to have uh, 10 million metal horrors around them. That's unfortunate. At least I've got walls. Okay, okay, guys, calm down. Should be mostly fine. Uh, might want to actually get some lighting in here. Uh, also, with this darkness, I didn't check, but are there, uh... There's gonna be some problems with this, I can just tell. Uh, I'm also thinking to myself... Why not summon another, uh... I have to wait for four hours, and then I can go ahead and summon... Uh, a bad... Can I actually provoke raids? I think that's something that you can do in... Uh... I think there's a mod that lets you do that. Also, why has no one installed the Far Focus? Go ahead and install the Reliquary, would you? No. That's unfortunate. It would be nice to provoke raids on your enemies. 
Alrighty then, so we've got ourselves a battle plan here. Uh, I'm firing some mortars to try to soften these guys up a little bit. I'm also sending Boy with the crazy plan of hopefully maybe using the Psychic Animal Pulsar to turn all the wildlife on the map to our side. Which, seeing how powerful metal horrors tend to be, or at least how tanky they are, I have some doubts, but I, I want to be cautiously optimistic. Okay, that actually, that was a good hit. Okay, I'll let you reload, but I want Hayden down here, because I want to bring the incinerators over, because... We're going to have guys attacking us here. We're going to have guys attacking us here. I got to be careful with the uranium slug turret, though. I've got to basically once the initial assault gets underway, I need to be mindful of the possibility that uh, the, the slugs will end up hitting my own people. And at this juncture, it's probably better to just get uh, Rena over here. Like I said, Hayden's coming over here so that we can uh, send the ins I don't know why I built this, to be honest with you. It's everything about it, it just doesn't make sense with what I've done. So I feel kind of silly about that, but you know, life goes on. It uh, looks like we got some fire. Oh, good. Boomalopes. And metal horrors are weak to fire, so, you know, that may end up working in our favor, maybe. I am mildly concerned about sending my flamers this way. I, I think I'll have Hayden stay down here, so at least she's close to the robots. But maybe they can do some work for us, as, you know, that's kind of that's what they're here for all right another important maneuver we need to do is focus fire one at a time okay boy yeah get out of there uh we'll fire one more flare in the hopes of stunning any of the ones we haven't previously stunned okay and i need to pull my guys back where they will not be in the immediate uh, kill splash zone of of uh, the long guns. Okay, and again, please, everyone, uh, focus fire one at a time, preferably the ones that are closer to hitting us. And Celis, get that metal blood going. All right, if we're lucky, we'll kill one or two of them. My god, these things are so bloody tanky, aren't they? I feel these guns are probably too close to each other. They have already destroyed one of my guns. This is not good. Okay, did set him on fire, though. So let's focus on killing this guy if we can. Salas, could you... Okay, you've taken out one. So far, so good. Okay, Salas is dead again, but we can revive him. So it's not the end of the world. It's not great that this has happened, but I maybe maybe I can stun them again. Oh, oh, please tell me I didn't throw that where we're going to end up stunning our own people. Good, we didn't. OK, jolly good, jolly good. OK, do what you can to uh, that stunning really doesn't last long enough, in my opinion. Like, I, I think I understand it now where the idea is that the flash impacts them for a while, but I wish the stun part of the whole thing lasted just a few seconds longer. Because that would be nice. Okay, we've got we've got incoming. Ah crap. Okay, at least the water mill generator is still working. Uh, we're not gonna rebuild the bridges. Once the bridges are down, that's it. Okay, and I wish you had slightly more range.
Just, just a bit more. Okay, your fire did nothing. That greatly angers me. Uh, let's have Hayden retreat a bit. Oh boy. There's a lot of bad guys coming. Which scares me, but we are holding. Have we attracted every single metal whore? No, the ones here are staying. Uh, the ones over here are either dead or on fire. So we should be able to trigger... Fight, basically. Uh, let's uh, maybe get our... Yeah, we want to set them on fire because that'll keep them from attacking us immediately. I don't think we're ever going to get to rebuild these once they're gone. Or no, no, wait, don't send my flamers too close to... Oh dear. How are we handling things over here? It's like we're there. These are never coming back, unfortunately for me. So basically each... This concerns me. Okay, that's not coming back. Basically, we're just getting worn down little by little as this goes on. Uh, I gotta be real careful here. I'm gonna turn you off, actually. Or both of you. You can hold your fire. Because I don't really trust you to not kill me. Uh, could Instead of trying to put out fires, which is rather admirable, could you light the enemy on fire so that they don't keep attacking me? It's kind of your job. Oh boy. It's getting a little spicy down here. Okay, you're never coming back. Oh, I set my components on fire. Okay, are we done here? Alright. Everyone go back to what you're doing. All right. Uh, yeah, and you know what? The important thing, I suppose, in all this is nobody died. All right, then. More entities coming to attack us. Fun for the whole family. Lots of gore hulks. So, I mean, this should be fairly straightforward. We just, we shoot them, uh, preferably kill the devourers first because they're the ones who can actually cause some real, real harm to me. Diabolus has arrived. Okay, there's a... Uh, they're doing some things. Now, their path thing may actually bring them into the Metal Horrors, which... Oh, God. May not be what I want. Okay, uh, kill him. Someone, let's uh, drop some more flares on Devourers just to buy ourselves a bit more time. Okay, good. We've taken him out. It's not so bad getting digested, as long as, uh, you know, we can focus fire down. And the good thing is, like, if they if they want to shoot me, they have to get into, uh, into range. So, you know, it all kind of works out. Uh, James, can you maybe tend yourself while we're waiting for the next assault to show up? Now, that's a little scary. But so far, so good. Oh, crap. Please finish the job. We have only so many seconds. Bellis is dead again. It, you know, it's just a fact of life, really, with that guy. It, it angers me a bit. Oh, Diabolus has been defeated. Good lord. Are they all coming to... Oh, and it... You, like, didn't... You know, Diabolus is actually proving to be incredibly weak. You know, it's like my colonists have a death wish sometimes. What is Boy doing sitting on the deadfall trap? doing floor drawings. Like, come on, my man. Anyway. Uh, so, we've got one 
uh, structure left. Uh, as anticipated, the... Uh, yeah, it's just... It's going to be a bit messy. I think I'll give the colonists a day to recover. All right, if you can rebuild that, go for it. I don't think you have enough uranium, though, so actually don't go for it. Uh, maybe... If we're going to put something there, it's going to have to be Biopharite. But I don't really want to build any more turrets because they're really expensive and, frankly, it, it's just not... It's just not working out for us. So, you know, let's... Uh, Let's not put ourselves in any more trouble than we need to. I'm fairly certain the next attack is going to end up requiring us to, uh, like, really start falling back. Which concerns me, but, you know, we are what we are. And by not rebuilding things, we are just random knock tools showing up. That's annoying. And reloading these turrets is also annoying, but, you know... We kind of need the extra guns. Maybe I could have done myself a fa- Oh, God. Uh, that's not good. Uh, who has a Disruptor Flare Pack? Okay, I'm going to send buns out to... Uh, can you actually do anything with this? No, you can't, because you're not a, a study person. Alrighty then, so... Last, uh, last obelisk. Also, we cloned Derek, so now we have two Derek's running around. Interesting thing about the clone is... Oh, actually, I, I, I'm i sure I remember reading stories that, like, they end up, uh, sometimes, uh, like, keeping their relationships and everything. But evidently that didn't happen this time. But, you know, we've got a, a cool, uh, Derek now. Or Derek and the other Derek. So, you know... Fun times. Uh, let's get back in here. Got our big ol' uh, corpse pile. And more bad guys just keep showing up. So, four hours, the monolisk is just twifting. Uh, twifting? That's totally a word that I just made up. Uh, what do we got here? More gore hulks. More of these guys. You know, in many ways, I actually really, really, really like all the stuff that's been added by Anomaly. Like, in particular, the fact, like, I... Uh, these flares, especially since they also stun humans... Uh, excuse me? Oh, he got... Got snipped a little by someone. That's unfortunate, but, uh, you know, these things do happen. Uh, I kind of want to move the... Now they're gore hulks, so we're not really going to be able to reach them. So I might just stick my robots down here. Are they all, uh... Okay, it, it's another classic uh, gore hulks and devourers. Uh, boy, maybe you should go back to fallback alpha just to be safe here. There we go. Alright, so everyone is mostly safe. Uh, Celis, I, I think we can all agree he's probably going to end up dead again. Oh, and I guess to save myself a little bit of trouble, just throw a little... And it, it's so nice that you just need a bit of biopharite in order to refill that. Like, it doesn't take that much at all. Pretty cool. Okay, so you're continuing to grow in power. Ooh, boy. Okay, I think destroying the other ones probably what gave us a little extra resources to work with there. All right, we'll uh, throw a little stunning stick there. Because, I mean, the less damage we take now, or my god, I'm just going to leave these all dying here. I really wish I could replant. At least these haven't died yet. But I wish I could just... Oh, God. Oh, no. The Devourers are coming up this way. Uh, that is much less good for me. I'm going to send my robots over here. Okay. This is bad. Because they seem to be moving 
a little faster than I would like. And devourers are a little tankier than, uh... Oh boy. Alright, but if we just focus fire, kill one at a time. The devourers are the primary threat, so we kill those first. Though I guess there's something to be said about the gore hulks. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh dear. I wish you had just exploded. Or that someone would walk on my IEDs. But, uh, alas, life is not quite that easy. Oh, I guess if I had someone here to activate, uh, the rocket swarm launcher, I could have just fired into them. But, uh, I feel this building this was a mistake, honestly. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is where things are going to start, uh... Oh, you're in the middle of flying. Oh no! Celis! He has been eaten once again. Right, I do want to see. Can I, uh... Okay, you have seven seconds before the disruptor will actually do anything to you again. So... Uh, let's get a couple of people. Focus fire. I mean, at, at the very least, Celis is actually doing his intended job. I think in one of these waves, we've already seen the Devourers will eat our, uh, our people. Okay, let's focus fire on getting, uh, getting James back. Uh, okay, careful not to... Okay, and, uh, J poor James, he's getting eaten again. Okay, set him on fire, please. Oh boy. Oh no, Celis is on fire. This is all going very, very bad. Oh shoot, and I accidentally stunned two of my own people. Okay, good, we've once more saved James. And you're getting eaten alive, that's... This is not good. It's it's getting pretty uh pretty rough around here. Uh did someone just get eaten? James has been swallowed yet again. This poor man. Okay, someone else got set on fire. My robots are uh you know, they're having a bit of a hard time. There we go. Light him up, lads. Light him up. And Celis has once more been eaten. The poor guy. Okay, there's another wave coming in, so let's, uh... Try to stun him. Uh, please don't set my own people on fire. That would be very not cool. Derek 2 and Zaneda, please step away from the fire and focus on... Is someone else getting eaten over here? It's hard to... T oh. And you see that rocket swarm launcher was useless. Why did I ever make it? Uh, you're dead. No, no, not Scorcho. Though, you know, this is kind of uh, working in my favor here. Oh, God. The twisting intensifies. Okay, I'm not... I'm not really sure if, uh... Okay, let's, uh, try to get a little more fire in here. Okay, this is proving to be very, very... Gonna be very close. Come on. Oh, and someone else is getting eaten over here. Oh, Lord. The Void Monolith has awakened. Uh, you know what? I guess I might as well also... I'm not too worried what's going on over here. Scorcho is still getting, uh... He only has five seconds left. I assume he... But he's a robot, so... It can't be that bad. Alright, Celis is back and he is somehow not dead yet. I'm gonna metal blood him up just to... Come on. Oh god, Celis is on fire again. Manning, what are you doing? Uh, well, actually, I guess if you can... Set the... 
put the fire out. Like, do something useful, please. All right, we've actually taken care of most things. Okay. Uh, are there any entities that are not dead? Oh, bloody hell. Another 14 metal horrors. All right. All right, where is James and all this? He's poor guy's uh, fallen. We'll heal up and then we'll uh, deal with the metal horrors. All right, here we go. The fight of the century. Is it even worth uh, firing this? Probably not, but you know, we did it. So here we go. Uh, maybe get over there. And I want to... Okay, just damaged my own stuff. Wonderful. Okay, one of them did trigger the IED, so that's that's useful. Yes, please, please set them on fire. More fire is more good. Okay, we did get some stunning. Uh, another important factor when dealing with these things. Let's focus fire on one at a time, if we can. No, Scorcho! And this stupid robot. So, like, does, does repairing them actually cost energy? That seems kind of stupid. But apparently that's how this game works. Live and learn. All right, and again, if we can, focus fire on one at a time. Come on. There we go. Now, how long before... A st okay, 24 seconds before they can be possibly stunned again. Uh, Sweepo, could you maybe just go inside? We're never going to repair that. Oh, boy. This isn't going to really stun anyone, but... I did take out a couple, so... It, it counts for something. Uh, let's focus fire on this guy. All right. I mean, at the very least, it does a little bit of damage to them. So, who went down? Alex, damn. One of our doctors. That is really, really unfortunate. Like, can we maybe focus fire on the ones who are you know, immediately attacking us. Okay, Alex, I don't care about you. You are presently uh, diminished. I need you to pull back a little. Right, Derek, if you don't mind uh, going up. Like, we'll rescue you in time, but uh, gonna have to wait a minute. Okay, so now are you gonna bleed out? No, they apparently never bleed out, so we have to actually kill it. Alright. We might actually save the one gun. And everyone just kill this guy. Alright. Jolly good. Alrighty then, here we go. Uh, just waiting for the rest of the crew to get here. I thought James had a, a thingy on him. Maybe he did and I just dropped it. Anyway, light up the path a little bit. Uh, you didn't take, you took a couple of uh, hits and apparently some rot stink. Oh my God, you people. Why are you all, all right, go home, Alex. You're, you're utterly useless and making me angry. All right, here we go. Uh, Zaneda, you can activate it because why not? Here we go. Grand finale time. Something in the darkness is attacked. Yeah, 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 you'll be fine. All right, we've done it. The portal to the other realm is opening. Oh. Duplicate sickness. Both Derek and his duplicate are feeling unwell. Their condition seems to be related to the duplication process and is worsening. Oh dear. The psychic connection that binds them is causing them to slowly lose consciousness. It won't get better until one of them dies. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Well. Sucks to be you, uh, Derek, too. Oh my, void metal mass. Big old twisted architect supports. 
The Void Node. Ooh. Well, before we touch it, uh, what do we know about it? A roiling sphere of twisted psychic energy powered by nearby architect machinery. It is one part of a bridge from our world into the Black Void. And that is all. Well, obviously I'm going to touch it. I mean, uh, we didn't come all this way to not touch it. Okay. Metal Hell is connecting channel. Now let's see what the friend has to say. His fear of arriving psychic energy rises before Zaneda. Zaneda feels a presence inside her mind, deeper than any normal human sense. She stands on the shoreline of an infinite black ocean of power. It beckons her in. Nearby architect devices support the sphere along fragile connections. Zaneda could disrupt them, closing the link between worlds. Or, she could step into the sphere and merge with the void. It's unknown what dark power could be gained from such an inhuman act. Do we break the link or embrace the void? I, I think we all know where this is going. Obviously. Now, the only thing that probably would have made this better and the, uh, you know, fitting uh, narrative end would be if I had Speedy go in here and do this. Because imagine that. We've been calling her a disappointment, or at least I have. I don't know if you watching along at home have been. But I have constantly, you know, been talking about what how, how Speedy is such a massive disappointment. But imagine. Imagine if she merged with the Void. But nope. To the end, Speedy is ever the disappointment. And instead, her commanding officer, Zaneda, will join the Void. Or power! Unlimited power! Zaneda steps into the void and the black ocean floods into her, overwhelming every sense, suffusing in er, every thought in her mind. The void node has been refocused away from the world, towards one single person. The void structures scream, then blink out of existence. Zaneda has embraced the void. Her story continues. Also, new ending music that is different from uh, Waiting for the Sun. Damn, this stuff, uh, this is good. Like, the whole Anomaly soundtrack is pretty much worth the price of the DLC alone, I would uh, dare say. All right, and with that, we are at the end of our Anomaly playthrough. So until the next time, everyone, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I, I think going forward, we're maybe going to mix up things a little bit before going back to RimWorld. Uh, we shall see. But until the next time, goodbye.